about the uh, talk about the match. You won the first set and then lost the second pretty easily. It was a close third set. What do you think the difference was in the end? What did he do to turn around the match? Yeah, I, I think he. Uh, I think I started really well. I was a bit on the front foot, played some positive tennis, but he um, he, he came back better. I think he, he. It wasn't so much as I I played badly. I think um, he just made a lot more balls, made a lot more first serves, um, put me on, on the back foot, and um, I let him. I let him get back. I think it was a bit of a crucial second set uh, where um, he gained confidence from there on. And then it was really just about, you know, applying the pressure and, and who really uh, broke first. So the third set was, I think, was I thought pretty close. I think I had chances in um, uh, at the 4-3 game uh, when I got broken to break back, uh, but couldn't capitalize. But, uh, you know, you've got to take your chances at this level. I want to talk to you about your comeback and how, A, how your body is feeling, uh, after probably what three matches in a row now, and um, four matches in, in in three days, how are you feeling? The wrists, the knees. Yeah, every everything seems to be okay. I was in it in it today, and, and uh, you know, just didn't capitalize. But I think it's a lot of positives to take on from here, um, and you know, competing with some of the best players. So hopefully, on and upwards from here on. Okay, so you've uh, mentioned in your recent interviews that. You're gonna look at playing uh, just the ATP tour events, the Masters and the Slams. But given that the whole tour is gonna shift to clay now, how would your schedule look like from here on? Yeah, I am uh, looking at some of the tournaments in in Europe, um, in uh, end of April. Uh, the schedule isn't very clear at the moment. The the, the show, a few tournaments scattered around. But once it's, um, I think at the moment everything's on clay. So if that's the case, I will be continuing uh, moving on um, towards the clay court events. If not, if I can find any hard court events, I'll, I'll stick to that. Right. I'll ask you about two things. You're, you're wearing a lot of braces uh, on your hands, both legs, there's a strapping on your knee. Uh, is that how it's going to be? Is it, uh, does that uh, reduce pay? I mean, I, I'm just wondering what it is about, one. And two, also about sponsorship. Uh, I, I remember even when you were in the top 100, you you didn't have the support for gear and racket uh, gear. I'm just wondering if that if that situation has been remedied or what 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 is, what is the situation there? That is, I am uh, I am uh, sponsored by Babylat fully. Um, mm -hmm. I've obviously been with them uh, racket wise for the last I think 10 12 years now, and happy mm -hmm. to barrel as well. So they've been incredibly kind and, and, and very, very patient with me, um, you know, being off the tour and then with the pandemic, but sticking around. Not many, not many do that. So I'm very thankful for that. And uh, that, uh, uh, going back to braces, that's how it's going to be. It's more, it's more protective. Um, uh, not so much as, as having issues. The knee, uh, yes, uh, at times, it just keeps, helps me a bit more steady and keeps the knee, um, you know, protects the knee a bit, but the other, the, the ankle braces and, and the elbow are just sort of more out of habit and, and just to protect it from the previous injuries that I've had. Mm -hmm. uh, just one more question I have. Uh, Game-wise, Yuki, do you feel uh, at 28, you're probably better than you were at 25 when you stopped the tour, uh, when you went away? I think it is probably a bit more... Uh, a bit more mature, a bit more confident. I think a bit more understanding of, of my game style. A bit more, I think, clarity. Uh, not so much, I wouldn't say uh, that the game has changed so much. I think I'm just a lot more clear and I have a lot more, I have a more experience playing at this level. Even when I uh, at, at 25, at 26, I was breaking through and testing out, um, you know, playing Dubai for the first time four or three, four years ago. Um, playing some of the Grand Slams for the first time. So coming back now, having that experience, being in that position, I think helps me. It's not very foreign. And, and I know that I can, because I've been in this situation before, I know I can play, um, you know, and, and, it's, and I can compete with them, with, with most of the guys on tour. Uh, you, do you think that um, the fact that you're coming back from injury, uh, how would you, I know it's only three matches, but is there anything in your game that, you feel like is you can say, you know what, I'm close to maybe where I was pre-injury. And the fact that you played a couple of three-step matches, played one against Ram Kumar and 
qualifying? Does that maybe get you in a rhythm going forward? Are you are you pleased with maybe not the result, but just how you played your level, your compete level? Are, are, are there are there specific things you can take away from these three matches that you say, you know what, I can apply that going forward? Yeah, I, I, I definitely felt I competed well. I don't I don't feel game wise that I'm uh, you know at my best as yet. I think there are still times um, when that sort of rustiness um, uh, you know comes on, and I don't make balls that I feel I usually would. I think there's still a lot more errors out there. But I I, I think with every match I've gotten better. I felt better, so that's definitely um, an improvement. And 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 I'm, more importantly, I, I feel confident. I think the the previous times that I've come back, I always felt I needed a lot more matches, a lot more, um, uh, you know, a lot more time to really get up to that, up to speed. But uh, I, I feel, you know, I feel good. Sure, not at 100%, um, uh, you know, match-wise, but I'm, I'm definitely playing a lot better than I actually expected to. I think maybe just because this time I've had a lot more time to really train, whereas in the previous times, I've probably, you, you, you know, trained for a month or two and then try to come back. But I think with the pandemic, given that extra time I've had before, I think it's, it's helped me. Um, you can, do you know, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I just want to know next week or week after where, well, where would you be playing next? Do you know that? I know you spoke about clay and, you know, hard boots, but I actually might look at uh, playing, um, the, the Delhi future. Um, there's a, there's a men's futures in, in, in Delhi. So I uh, will probably, Look at that, and then from there on, uh, once the calendar is a bit more clear, I think that it's all scattered at the moment. It's, at the moment, it's just really few events in Europe. Um, but if something opens up around on hard course, I'm looking to play obviously a lot more on hard. If something opens up there, but it's in the states, um, then I'll, I'll head towards that. Otherwise, I'll I'll go back on on play and stay there to the French Open. I'm just curious as to why you're playing future, uh, something like the Futures, which you probably graduated from, like, God knows where. It's, 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 it's at home. It's, uh, I still need to get in matches. Uh, you know, I still need to play as much uh, as I can. And, um, you know, the more I play, the better I feel and, and, uh, and more points and higher up I can get in the rankings a lot quicker. Any, anything that I can play at the moment is, is good for me, regardless of, of the tournament. Uh, Yuki, your serve you? seems to have a little bit more extra zing to it. Like, uh, you weren't able to see the speedometer here, but in Singapore, you were touching the early 190s. So, is it some, is it an area of your game that you consciously worked on during the pandemic? Not so much. I think it's overall. Maybe just I had so much time off and I ended up working a lot more on my upper body than my, than my legs. I might have just gotten a bit more strength. But I'll take I'll take the extra pace. You um, you know I'll take the extra free points. You have to work really hard um, for every point here. So any any freebie that I get, that I get I will take. But uh, yeah, I've been, like I said, I think it's it's also a little bit um, with confidence. Uh, you know, you get better. It's not just about the serve. It's a shot after that. And even these three matches, I thought I served uh, pretty well. And I and I played some guys with really big servers, but I, I held my own. So. Yeah, it's it's looking good. So just gotta keep going on from here. Right. So just one 